Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to set up expiring links within Infusionsoft. And so a really good use case for this would be offering a discount for your tripwire purchases, but only for a set amount of time. So a good example here is, let's say you have a product uh, that, you're, that you normally sell for $100, and after somebody opts into your list, you want to offer it to them for just $50, at 50% off, but only for 24 hours. And after the 24 hours, if they click on the links that you've been sending them uh, through email, then they'll be taken to a different page that says, hey, sorry you missed this deal. Um, so, so I'm going to walk you through that process. So the first thing we want to do is set up a custom field where, that, where those two links can be, can be saved. I've gone ahead and, again, under uh, admin settings, that's where you'll find your custom fields. I've gone ahead and created one called uh, expiring links, and I'm going to bypass all of the, you know, the intricate details here of what this campaign could look like. I just want to show you kind of the, the bare bones here of, of how to set this up. So this is probably coming off of, say, like an opt-in or some sort of trigger to get them into this particular campaign. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this, you know, act quickly. And once I've done that, I'm going to jump into my process, and I'm going to dra drag out the set field value. And this is actually really cool because it's pretty new. You used to have to do action sets and other things to make this happen, but now it's pretty new. So I'm going to go down to my expiring link, and I want the full link, so you know, include the HTTP colon forward slash, and I'm going to call this blickdigital.com slash maybe 50 off. I, I, don't, I actually don't have this, but I am planning on implementing something similar. And I'll probably um, use that, so 50 off. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as ready. And I do want to overwrite the existing value just in case on this. And now I'm going to drag out an email. And I'm going to present the 50% offer. So within this email, it would probably say something to the effect of, hey, we've got 24 hours. You know, I want you, I want you to have... Um, first access to this deal, but it's only available, available for the next 24 hours. Um, and then it expires. So, you know, obviously you'd want to put some supporting copy in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my merge field. So I'm going to click on this merge button. I'm going to go to my custom fields and I'm going to go find that expiring link custom field. And there it is. And I want to cut that. I'm going to go ahead and say, click here to uh, learn more. And I'm going to go to link, and I'm going to paste that link in there. Uh, that merge field, sorry, right in right in there. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep it as web address. I'm going to leave, leave it just like that. And, uh, and that's that. I'm going to mark this as ready. Go back to sequence. Now, you may have a couple of other emails like, you know, and I'm just doing a 24-hour example. You, yours might be a 72 hours or whatever. Um, so you may have some supporting emails that follow that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to expire this link right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I promised them 24 hours, and I'm going to keep my word. So I'm going to go and click this delay timer, and I'm going to go to hours, and I'm going to swap that out. I'm going to make that 24 hours any day, and I'm going to do this between 12 a.m. and 11.45 p.m., for those kind of late night owls or my Aussie friends on the other side of the world. Um, and then I want to grab this set field value again, and I'm going to copy it over to here. And this time, I may create a, a, an Infusionsoft landing page for simplicity's sake that would just say, sorry, the deal's over. Or maybe on your website, you've got some, uh, some website skills that you could just come in here and say, uh, you create a new page at forward slash sorry or whatever it might be, uh, indicating that they had missed the deal. So the way that this works, I'll give you a little bit of, um, I guess, more technical things uh, to consider with Infusionsoft. When Infusionsoft sends emails, when you, so I'll take a step back. When you create an email and you put a link, say, to your website within that email, and Infusionsoft sends it to your prospects, what happens is every prospect is sent that email, but a unique Infusionsoft link. So not a link to your website, but a unique Infusionsoft link that then forwards to your website. And they do that so they can track, you know, 
clicks and who's clicking. And that's why everyone gets a unique link. And that's why this works is because, you know, they'll, even if they go back to this, this email after it's expired here 24 hours later, um, what, what will happen is they'll click on that redirect link and it will then check Infusionsoft for what the current value of their merge field is, which in this case will be this one right here, which, <coughs> excuse me, which is the sorry. So that's how you set that up. It's pretty basic. Uh, obviously, you'll you'll see that you can expand on this and, and get a little more technical, but this will get you started. And there's a couple of other things I wanted to show you, which is you may have uh, a you know the purchase goal. So if they're purchasing at 50% off, um, then you know you want this to happen. And then you may have another sequence here that changes that. So we go back, we set field value, and we, you know, we change that URL yet again to maybe like, thanks for your purchase, in case they end up going back to that link. So that's not quite as, pro as important probably, but if you wanted to kind of take extra caution there, you could definitely do that. And that's really all you need to make this expiring links campaign work. I uh, encourage you to, to give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments below. Talk to you soon.